I'll admit right at the start of this Car Gurus review of the Porsche 992 that I am something of a 911 fanboy. I love the heritage of them. I love the way they drive, the noise they make. I love the style of them and the fact that they're surprisingly practical with those two small rear seats. So to say that I have high expectations of this new car is something of an understatement. The 911 story is so well documented that we don't need to delve too deep here, other than to say that the 992 is the eighth generation of a model that was originally introduced in 1963. Where Porsche's always been so clever with the 911 is in the way it's evolved the design without compromising its DNA. So all 911s have a flat six engine mounted in the rear, and that dictates not only the way they look, but also the way they drive. And what this 992 does is it brings the whole thing bang up to date with details like this lovely light bar across the back, the ultra smooth front end, and then little high tech details like the fact the door handles pop out to meet you when you unlock the car. Unlike previous 911s, the 992 is only available in one wide body design rather than having narrow and wide bodies on offer, and it makes more extensive use of aluminium in its build. Don't underestimate the usefulness of this front storage area either, because it turns the 911 from being a purely selfish proposition into something that you can just chuck a few bags in and really make this into a useful car. Same with the rear seats, because even if you haven't got people in them, they're still great for extra storage. Climbing into the 992 for the first time is a proper wow moment because Porsche's not just built a great 911 interior, it's built what for me is one of the best interiors of any production car on sale today. Now admittedly, even a Carrera S rear wheel drive starts from £93,000 and this 4S four wheel drive model is even more, but it does feel like a £100,000 car in here. The quality is outstanding everywhere and the design is just spot on. I love the way that Porsche's really nail down how to do these super clean interiors that when you then switch the ignition on everything comes to life so this dash here you get this enormous touchscreen this is really good it's really responsive you get your heating controls down here all these buttons here feel really robust it's just a really really good interior can you tell i like it the use of retro fonts for the analog rev counter and the way it's surrounded by a digital representation of Porsche's classic five dial setup really helps make this feel like a proper 911. As does the fact that when you twist the key, the engine erupts into life behind your head. Now that is a proper 911 moment. In time, you will be able to buy a 992 with a manual gearbox, but for now, it's just the eight-speed PDK dual-clutch automatic gearbox. Now, to begin with, when I got in this car for the first time, I really wasn't sure about this stubby little lever here, but in practice, you only never really use it to go from drive to reverse. For the rest of the time, it's either doing its own thing, or if you want manual, you press this button down here and use these paddles. Now, the paddles themselves are really good just the right size they've got a nice action and this steering wheel they're attached to as well is just a thing of beauty again it's the size of it is just right and also the thickness of the rim Porsche just does this stuff so well Every new generation of 911 tends to be more grown up, more refined, more cosseting than the last, and the 992 is no different. In some respects, it's almost in grand touring ability, like a two-door version of Porsche's own Panamera. However, there is still the classic 911 tyre roll, particularly from the rear tyres, which isn't surprising given the size of the rubber. And in those two things, I think probably my slight criticisms of the 992N, because in every other regard, I just adore this thing. So let's just drill down a bit into what makes the 911 so good. For a start, obviously it's rear engine, so not only do you get the sound from behind you, but that completely defines how the car drives, how it handles. You also, in the 992, get 
this amazing sense of harmony to the control ways, and that's something that's common to all 911s, as is the excellent visibility. And then there's the steering. Now, I know there's been a fair bit of debate about hydraulic power assisted steering versus electric power assisted steering, and to be honest, this doesn't have the same sort of pitter patter feel you used to get through the steering in older 911s. However, in every other regard, whether it's the speed of response, the accuracy, the weighting of it, the steering in this 992 is just sublime. And the other thing to point out here is that this is the 4S, so it's four-wheel drive. But that doesn't mean it's always sending power to the front and rear axle in an equal distribution. Actually, for most of the time, it's very rear biased. It only will send power to the front axle when it's needed. And then there's the engine. So as we've said, it's a flat six engine. Uh, modern 911s are turbocharged and not naturally aspirated anymore. And what that means is you get more bang for your buck, essentially. This is a three litre engine and it produces 450 horsepower. Now, if you combine that with launch control and a very quick shifting eight speed automatic gearbox, what you get is a 0 to 62 mile per hour time. Jeez. Oh, yeah in the low threes, it's just extraordinary. And this engine is just amazing. Yes, it's turbocharged, yes, you can hear that sometimes, but in terms of response and the way it revs to well over 7,000 RPM, it's just as good as a naturally aspirated engine. It's a really cracking unit. Now, being a modern sports car, you also get lots of driving modes. You access them in the 992 via this dial down here. It's a really good system, really intuitive, nice and easy to use on the move and it also includes a sport response button. So what you do is you press the button here and that gives you maximum attack for periods of 20 seconds at a time. The thing about the 911 for me though, despite all the gadgets and everything else, is the fact that it just gets better the harder you drive it. It's not one of those sports cars where it feels really good to start with and then it starts to fray around the edges when you start to push. Actually, with the 911, the harder you go, the better it gets. It's just an extraordinarily good sports car. And the 992, best yet? I don't know about that, but it's certainly very, very good. As a 911 fan, there is part of me that mourns the fact that these things have become so expensive. This Carrera 4S, for example, admittedly with 20 or so options on it, costs just over £125,000. And what this is doing is it's pushing 911 prices way up out of any kind of idea of attainability that a lot of traditional 911 fans might have had. On the flip side, you have to acknowledge that it is significantly faster, it's more capable and it is more technologically advanced than ever before. Most of all though, the thing to take away from this is despite all the changes, despite the added refinement and everything else, this thing still feels absolutely like a proper 911. Is the 992 your favourite 911? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Plus, please do remember to subscribe for more new and used car reviews. And when it comes to choosing your next car, you can easily find great deals from top rated dealers at cargurus.co.uk.